In this video of ASP.NET, we will discuss about the directives. Basically, whenever you take a web page on the top, you would have seen that there is add the rate page. That is basically a page directive. Similarly, on the different options, we have the different directives which we can use on that particular time to get the effective code. So here, ASP.NET directives are instructions to specify the optional settings. For example, if you are taking a web page and you want to set a theme onto that one or if you want to apply a master page, both are optional means any page can be created without a master or a theme. But if you want, you can set those things here in ASP.NET through the directives. Setting describe how web form or user control pages are processed by the .NET framework means the web forms and user control are just an uh, example but on anything on which you are putting the uh, directives according to that only the .NET framework will process that particular component. Now here is the list of the few directives which we commonly use in ASP.NET applications like the page directive on the top which we will find in any of the web page we are working with. So this is the page directive uh, means specified like at the rate page. Here you by default get the options like language which is C sharp, auto event wire up which will wire up all the page lifecycle events along with the class name and the uh, source code file name. Control if you will create a user control out here in the ASP.NET in that particular option you will get the control directive on the top rather than the page. Similarly, if you will create a master page, you will get the master directive on the top of that. If you want to import any specific namespace for a web page or for a particular web page, then you can add this import directive on the top of the page. You can only import one namespace at a time. If you require multiple namespace to import, you have to pass multiple import directive. Similarly, register. Whenever you use some third party tools like Ajax control, Telerik control, and if you add them in the web page, then to register those control for a web page, you will get the register directive. Output cache is done for the caching thing, which we will cover during this curriculum. So this output cache will be used for the uh, caching thing when you want to do that on the page level. Reference is basically used whenever you will be using any particular source file or any particular page for the reference. So you can just pass the path using the reference directive. And if you want to implement any interface on a particular page, then you can use the implements uh, directive. Again, if you want to go for multiple interfaces, you have to pass multiple implements directive as one implements directive will just take the one interface name. So these are the list of few directives which we will be using in our coming sessions.